<laughs> there we go. I'll just pick this camera up. Well, Dave the Dave roving the rock here. Another exciting episode of Where Am I on Aaron? And I'm slightly out of breath, I've been running. I just thought I'd show you one of the uses this beach can be put to. Of course, I haven't told you where I am, but this beach is perfect, isn't it? There's no footprints on it apart from mine. Look, there's one there. And that's it. There's nothing else. And we've got this wonderful expanse of sand. It's not too far to get here. And it can be used for just walking or enjoying or running like I've just done. It's a wonderful running surface because it's soft on old knees like mine, old duffy knees. Perfectly flat and smooth. It's energizing and if you really want a boost, you can run with the wind. So, I've got my good camera with me today and it's got the windshield on it. So although you might just hear the wind a little, it will take most of it away. But it's quite windy down here. Um, and you can run with it or you can run against it if you want a challenge and jog back with it. So it's good for running. And of course it's just wonderful for dog walking and walking in general and for your mental and physical well-being. This is lovely isn't it? So, what I'll do, I'll just come swing around here. It's like the only bit of seaweed in the whole beach there. That's why I came here. I put the camera on it. <laughs> little stone. That's the view the other direction. Got cliffs there. It couldn't be any better. There aren't many places where you can get beaches like this and I knew it'd be empty. Every time I've been on it, it's been empty. So, this is not unusual. It's gorgeous. For your information, the tide was fully out about an hour ago, so it's just starting to roll back in. And I've said it before, but you can tell the sand's dry. It's been drying off as the tide's been going out, and then it's coming back in on top of it. So it would be wet if the tide was going out, but it isn't, it's coming in. And also, the water is slightly more noisy of course when it's trying to make its way back in than when it's going out so it's kind of busy it's just starting to turn come in it's not a full speed but it is making an effort it will probably come over my shoes if I stay here for a few minutes lovely a nice peninsula just in the in the distance there so I'll have a look right round Have you been here before? I have, but only a few times. Actually, I'd never been here till about maybe two years ago. And I've been here 40 years this year. So, 40 years ago for a holiday that I'm still having. Isn't that amazing? Could the beach be any better than this? I don't think so. There aren't too many beaches to rival this one anywhere or on Arran. So you're thinking about it. Where have you seen a beach this good on Arran? Well, I'll give you some clues. It took me 10 minutes to run here from a village. I had to go down a track. It would take you 20 minutes to walk it. I'd say it's just over a mile. Just a, maybe a mile, just over a mile. Something like that. A good path down here from one of the villages in the island. Um, that village is towards the south of the island, not the north. Going back to the village, another clue. The village. Um, well, there are two villages there actually beside each other. So one starts with an L 
and the other one starts with a K. So there you go, two villages in pro close proximity. Um, when I spoke to him a minute ago about the tide, it was quite far away and now it's getting closer already. There it is. See if it reaches me if I stand here long enough. Um, and okay, I'll swing around. What am I looking at now? Just thinking about it. Just open sea. That's what I'm looking at. The mainland is very far away in that distance, so far away that you can't see it. In this direction, there is a lighthouse in the very far distance. That's a clue. There's also a cave. About two, two and a half miles along that beach there. I'll see if I can hold the camera still enough to zoom in on the lighthouse for a year. It's not going to be easy because it's very far away. Let's see, where am I aiming at? There, there it is. Okay. I can go closer but I won't be able to hold the camera still. Right, so, sorry for the wobbly picture. That's as good as I can do. Okay, I'll bring the camera back a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. So a lighthouse. Um, while I'm talking. That one was about six inches from my foot. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, okay, so a lighthouse up there, another village beside that lighthouse and also that lighthouse is on an island there is also another island to the right of it there and this will give it away almost certainly oh it just hit my shoes that time it actually hit them I'm gonna get wet shoes in a second I better hurry up there's the island there okay I'm getting wet shoes now you know what that is. Nails a Craig. So if that sails a Craig, the lighthouse over there, which is on another island, has to be on Plada. Plada and Nails a Craig. Whoops. <laughs> Eric. And um, the village beside Plada, of course, was called Donnan. Okay, and the answer is, of course, Komori Beach. This is the beach. There's a path down from Komori Hall, just beside Lag. It's a good path all the way down, and it brings you to this little piece of paradise, which very few people know about and very few people visit, apart from the ones who do know. There we go. Komori Beach. Perfect. Hope you got it.